Hi everybody, um, it's been a while so I'm doing like a quick video update and then tomorrow I have an idea for a video, it's kind of controversial so um, trying to figure out how I want to do that and come across so hopefully I get that out tomorrow or the next day. But so what I've been up to, um, last Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, um, I had went to my son's school early before he got out and did laps around his school to um, wait for him to get out and get my steps in and everything. Well, I did something not smart and learned from my mistake. I had iced coffee just before that and not nearly as enough water as I needed to. And that day was like 80 degrees. So a lot hotter than it's been lately because it's only been like maybe getting to 60 and then our temperatures jumped high really fast so um, afterwards I started getting a headache and I figured well I'll just drink water and hopefully it will go away so I got my son then I go just down the road and get my daughter from school and then come home and then my daughter wanted to go to the library so it's not even a fourth mile away so I was like sure we can walk um, my headache shouldn't be that bad because it still didn't go away well, I walk to the library and then um, I get these migraines sometimes where the, my vision starts looking like I'm looking through water or the shiny clear stuff. It's really weird, the, the migraines that I've been getting. And they started when, after I had my son. So like if I get dehydrated a lot or um, when I had him, I got, had to go in and get magnesium because my magnesium was low my blood pressure was high so I don't know if I caused a dehydration migraine or my blood pressure was too high from it being hot and not enough water so I had to call and get a ride back home just down the road and it took a day or two to try to get the headache to get fully gone it was a lot better the next day but how you still feel the like lingering effects of it and then um, I had in-home therapy for my son for his autism so I was trying to do that while I was still not feeling good and then the weekend came and then I kind of just got in this depressive mode where that you know that thought in your head oh poor me you know every time you try to do something something goes wrong I can't just go right and of course, I just still let the negative thoughts come in. And then I got to where I wasn't counting my calories like I was. Not that I was like eating a bunch of food, but I wasn't eating the same healthy food I had been. And like, usually um, I eat like semi big breakfast, maybe a really small snack, and a big dinner to hold me up to the next day. So those days that once my migraine was getting better I kind of just snacked instead of actually eating anything you know that I should have been or you know bigger meals just snacks throughout the day so that didn't go well because I let the depression of feeling like oh I'm putting all this effort and now this happened and I know people are trying to get healthy and they have stuff like that happen to them too and they just you know take a breather and get back on for me, because of my depression, I kind of just like, negative thoughts, just let them keep going. So that wasn't good, and it's taken me a few days to try to get back in the swing of how I was doing things and drinking more water, and I've been getting um, at least two of my 24 in, so 48 ounces. I'm trying to up that even more, because when you're bigger, you know, you're supposed to drink more water, because it's ounce per body weight which there's no way I'm going to drink that much water, but I really want to, you know, get it up higher. So, and also, so that way I don't get that migraine again. So I've been dealing with that. And then last Sunday, um, my daughter's cat had kittens and she refused to feed them. So I had a call around to rescue places around here. Like she's not feeding them. We don't have the stuff, you know, to, the little bottles and the special formula or anything to get you know to feed them because we were worried about them you know starving because 
They need to feed as soon as they were born. So that was an exciting few days, getting them to rescue and then checking up on them and seeing how they're doing. And they're doing great, so which is good. So I've been dealt with that, you know, not feeling well. And I kind of just let things that kept stacking happening get to me instead of finding ways to deal with it. So, but I am getting into walking. I will have those screenshots of my walking that day before it all happened. Um, I haven't been outside walking again since then because I was worried that if I started getting those migraines again, I didn't want to be stuck somewhere, you know, um, and have to go for a ride, especially when during the day my husband's at work and my kids are at school. I can't just call up somebody to come get me, especially when all my family members live 30 minutes away, so I'm going to be stuck. So i just been walking the house, so I have no map, so, you know, my, my walk for in the house, but I'm hoping to get back outside, um, even if it's in the, on the evenings and have my husband go with me, so that way I know there's somebody there in case, you know, de dehydration migraine comes back or something, but hopefully with the more water, it's not going to happen again. So I've been doing that walking inside the house instead of outside and dealing with my son's in-home therapies that they, you know, one week is like three days, another one's four days. And so it's kind of up and down by trying to still work out while they're here. So yeah, I'll get it done and figure it out and hopefully no more issues. Oh, and I found out that half a mile away um they're putting in a platinum fitness our small town has like two stores and um well it's not really a store it's like a store and then like a little meat mexican market and then we have a mcdonald's and a burger king yeah like our small town needs two fast food but you know that's what it is and then library you know little places like that but nothing big because it's a small town so I was so excited when they finally got a Platinum Fitness because then when it's good weather, I can walk there for my cardio, do the equipment, and then walk home for more cardio. Or, you know, I don't have to worry about using so much gas because the nearest Platinum Fitness is over 30, mile, 30 minutes away. So I'm excited. They just started it um, a couple weeks ago, so it'll be a while before it's up. But it's still excited to have something local instead of having to go so far away and have to pay gas and the membership fees and find time while the kids are at school or try to find something to watch the kids so I can go into, you know, clear into town. So I'm excited about that. Um, I saved some more workouts. I want to do weight related instead of just cardio. So I'm going to be working on those and hopefully have some more videos out soon. So yeah, it's been a whirlwind and I let it get to me, but I'm trying to refocus myself and do more than just the inside walking and do more of my workouts and other places to go walking. So, and tomorrow I'm going to the gym with a friend. So I'll try to share photos if I can or have her record some of us working out. And then I'll try to get that other video of I was thinking of doing. And that's about it right now. So Get that whole water in, especially when the heat is rising. I know some places still have cold weather or it goes cold, hot, cold, hot. So it is very important for your body to get that water in, especially with the heat and working out and just for everything that it needs to function. So thank you for my little grumbling kind of update and see you soon. And I hope everybody's doing well. Oh, and I am um, doing Derek's, <laughs> Derek's journey walk thing again so check him out and i'll be doing updates of that too so hope everybody has a good week and take care bye